Okay, so uh, now that you've actually successfully run a lead generation campaign, you're probably wondering where do these leads go? Uh, Facebook does not necessarily make that uh, very obvious. Um, so what you do is you go back to your ads manager here and you go into the ads tab. You have to be in the ads tab because the leads live under each individual ad that produced them. Now you have to be a, um, you have to be an admin of your page to access the leads. Uh, only admins can access them. So if you're like an advertiser or a team member, you might not be able to access them unless you're an admin. So then you go into that individual ad and you'll scroll over to uh, results and underneath you'll see it'll say on Facebook leads. Click on that and you, then you can download them directly. So you'll download it as like a CSV file. Um, so it'll let you choose from like a CSV or um, an XLS file, so an Excel file. Now, um, that's how you download your leads if you want to do it manually. If you want to do this um, automatically, uh, there is ways you can do that too. Now, what you need to do is you need to actually go to your Facebook page and you need to go to publishing tools. So if you go to your Facebook page, I'll just back up a second, um, and you go to this little tab here, for me I have to click more, and then hit publishing tools, and then you go down on the left to, um, let me just get this out of the way here, uh, lead setup. Now, from here, um, Facebook has some integrations in place that will actually automatically send your leads to different places depending on what platforms you have. Like if you have Real Geeks, um, you can do this through Zapier. And I'll talk to you about Zapier in a second. If you have uh, Real Estate Webmasters, you can do that through Leadsbridge, which is more or less a similar thing to Zapier. Um, if you are using MailChimp to do your follow-up campaigns, uh, MailChimp has a direct connection, so you can send all your leads directly into MailChimp and have them automatically enrolled in a drip campaign. Um, but that's what this is all about is you want to use these automations because it just takes too much time to do this all manually If you're downloading them uploading them to your CRM putting them in a drip campaign manually It's very much worth your time getting this stuff uh, dialed in and set up um, So um, Search for CRM providers yours might be in here depending on which one you use But let's talk about Zapier because uh, Zapier is a tool that you should be using um, if you're doing any kind of lead generation um, but Zapier, you just go to zapier.com, it's mostly free. Um, and essentially what Zapier does is takes information from A and transmits it to B. Um, so they're basically a bridge between platforms. So go ahead and hit make a zap on the top right and then you can search for um, what you wanna do here. Now, the thing with um, this here is in order to use Facebook lead ads, uh, it actually costs some money. So it's about $25 a month um, for you to use the Facebook lead ads feature. And essentially you can set it up where when you get a new lead on Facebook from your account, um, let me just sign in again. This is because I had to, thank you, um, log out today. So then you can do your, choose your page, choose your lead form. Um, so you can do the, each individual lead form will have its own zap. So you can zap one lead form to different places, another lead form to different places. Um, and then you can test it to make sure um, it's working. So essentially now we're taking any lead that comes in through one lead form and we're moving it somewhere else. So we can actually zap it to a Google Sheet. We can zap it to um, like Real Geeks, Real Estate Webmasters, um, Real Scout. Like there's a lot of real estate CRMs that are integrated with Zapier um, and you can have it done uh, totally automatic. Uh, so that's something important to note. If you do wanna go the free option with Facebook lead ads, um, you can actually you know find your, say you're with like MailChimp, um, you can connect your MailChimp uh, directly, okay? And it'll go right in there. So I just wanna show you guys how to essentially manage your leads. Um, you know, the free way to do this would be actually to, well, not so free actually, um, is to use landing pages. So uh, we use ClickFunnels. Um, if you're using lead pages or anything like that, um, the zap 
is actually free, but then that program costs money. Uh, so if you wanted to do like we do click funnels, um, and then you can take all of those leads and we would zap them into like with a new contact, we would zap them into, um, whoops, uh, a Google sheet so that every time we get a lead, uh, which we're getting like 20 or 30 of a day, uh, you can essentially have them all in a Google sheet really nicely. And they're also going into a CRM. Um, so it's just nice to have it in a couple different places. And this is pretty easy to set up. Um, obviously lead management is really crucial. Um, if you're collecting leads at any kind of volume, you need to be automating everything. Um, so that $25 to pay for Facebook leads to go directly into your CRM is probably very worth it. Um, if you're driving traffic to a landing page, collecting leads that way, often that's a free, um, Zapier setup, um, lead pages. If you guys haven't, uh, decided on a landing page software is pretty good. Um, let me just see if lead pages is in here. I think it is. Yeah, there you go. So lead pages is like, uh, I think it's like 55, $60 a month. Um, click funnels has a light version for a hundred dollars a month, but the heavy version, which we have is $300 a month, um, which is really good. Um, so it just depends on where you want to put your money. Uh, you can create pretty cool landing pages with those softwares, uh, which are sometimes better at collecting leads than your Facebook native. But if you want to go the simple route, just do um, Facebook lead gen forms and uh, send them to MailChimp, for example, um, by using this connection here. Um, so that's just what I want to talk about to, to uh, tag on to all of the lead gen stuff um, if you're doing it. Um, so I hope that helps. Thanks guys.